Hey, what's up, guys? I hope you're excited about tonight. I have never done this before. Let me move this over here so I can see your guys' comments. And uh, awesome. All right, so like I said, I've never done this before. I have never um, just, you know, done this whole thing like we're doing tonight. And basically, we're going to play a little game called How Does Affiliate Marketing Work in the, the Blank Niche? And that blank, you get to fill it in. We're doing this because I know what a lot of people think. And uh, you think, oh, yeah, you know, affiliate marketing sounds great. It sounds great if you're Matt and you're in the online marketing niche. It sounds great if you're in, you know, this niche or that niche, but, but not mine, right? So we're going to bust that tonight because I want you to come on, put in the comments your niche or a friend's niche or, or whatever. Like the, the goal is kind of to try to stump me a little bit, whether it be with your own niche or somebody else's niche to ask kind of like the most obscure <laughs> possible niche. Mark tried the other day, uh, Mark tried the other day, we were doing this as a part of another Facebook Live. And, uh, and he tried the other day, he asked me about his friend, uh, about, no, a guy that had asked him, said that he's like in the, uh, what is he, what was he in the, he, he works with people who like get government contracts. They work with the government. And so his audience is people who work with the government. He's like, okay, I'll try, try affiliate marketing with that. Right. And I'm like, and I honestly, I was like, uh, I don't know that I can, like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm actually a little stumped on this one. And then it hit me. I was like, wait a minute. No, this is easy. People who work with government contractors are business owners. So you give them general business stuff, you give them general business stuff. You, you give them accounting information. You give them stuff about finances. You give them stuff about growing a team, productivity, goal setting, uh, time management, you name it. Because we know that they, they own businesses. So all of this stuff works for them. And so I've actually got a couple. Uh, people emailed me tonight. As you're getting ready, they said, I can't be on live. But um, I want to, I want to submit, my, submit my niche without let me pull that up without being on live because they've got you know other obligations tonight and that's okay one of them is actually uh overseas and then uh one of them is uh right in the u.s but they're busy tonight so the first one is from tim in fact before i get into this though oh my god i forgot to tell you guys uh we do have prizes tonight and there are a couple ways you can win prizes Number one, if you stump me, if I truly, like within, we'll say, one minute, can't come up with a really legitimate way for you to do affiliate marketing in your niche, then, uh, then you're going to win a $50 Amazon gift card. So if you can stump me, then you can't like make up an obscure niche just by, it needs to be your niche or like somebody you know's niche. You can't, like go look at like Google, like most obscure niche on the face of the earth. You know, this can't be like Chinese underwater basket weaving, you know, something like that. And by the way, let me know when you jump on, let me know where you're at. Uh, I'd love to give you a shout out and say hi. And also just know where you're joining us from. Uh, so whoever's on, jump on and, and or jump in there in the comments and let me know where you're at. Also, make sure you have joined the workshop. If you have not, noproductnoproblem.com forward slash workshop. I'm going to drop that in the, the chat there. And yeah, because I'm flying solo tonight, by the way. So no, I'll just drop the root URL there. So mpmp.mattmcwilliams.com forward slash workshop. That's a lot longer than just saying no product, no problem.com forward slash workshop. So make sure you join the workshop. Make sure you join the Facebook group when you get on the thank you page because we've got some awesome content that's exclusive to the Facebook group for the workshop. And then make sure you come back the next two nights. Uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to tell you what it is yet. I'll tell you later. I'm doing two Facebook lives the next two nights. I'm sharing stuff that I have literally never shared publicly before. And it's based on the PDF, the free report, how to win an affiliate marketing with little or no following that we released today and the video that comes along with that. Hi, Marie. Hendersonville, Tennessee. That's awesome. Uh, I grew up in Nashville, well, actually Franklin. So I know Hendersonville very well. One of my good, good friends growing up playing golf down there is from Hendersonville. Uh, so anyway, the next two nights are going to be amazing. We're going to give a walkthrough of my resources page and we're going to talk about the other part 
in that PDF that we released today that you guys will want to see. So we're going to do a live walkthrough of basically two pay, two things on my website that before I even had any following basically whatsoever, any email list whatsoever, made me $134,000 in two years. So you're going to want to stick around for that. All right. So I had a couple of questions submitted via email that I'll tackle first. Reminder, drop in the comments your niche and I'm going to show you how affiliate marketing might work in that niche. So drop that in there. That's the game tonight. You can win prizes like we talked about. Uh, so Tim email couldn't make it tonight and said that he coaches salon owners. Oh, uh, he got Michael and Jim, two of our starters. Hey, Jim. To Jim is like an hour from me right now. Michael is about as far away you can get, get from me and still be in the United States. Um, so Tim coaches salon owners and he was like, how does affiliate marketing work in that niche? Um, all right. <laughs> it's kind of a obscure niche. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so here's, I, I kind of go back to the one I just did with the, the, the people who work with government contractors, uh, salon owners or business owners, business owners all have similar needs. Whether you're a, a large business owner, a small business owner will vary quite a bit. You know, if you're running a Fortune 500 company, your needs are going to be drastically different from my business or from salon owners' businesses. Even salon owners that own, you know, say, uh, there's a, a good friend of mine back in North Carolina that owned like 18 Great Clips franchises. He still only had like 275 employees. You know, it wasn't like he, you know, he had a Fortune 500 company. He, you know, maybe had 275 employees and, you know, a couple million dollars in revenue. Great, big, great small business, don't get me wrong, but they have very different needs than, you know, General Electric does. So salon owners, small business owners, and, you know, again, general business owners. So we're talking, they're going to need, you're going to want to refer, if you coach salon owners, I would refer things to them that you can't help them with. You're going to help them with things that are specific to salon owners, but what about accounting? Odds are you're, you're not that great at accounting, but you can refer them to someone who can help them with accounting. You can refer them to products that you get an affiliate commission on for accounting. Uh, they probably, being a small business owner, they need to be more productive. So productivity course. They probably need to learn how to work with the team, whether it be their... Uh, uh, you know, their hairdressers or their, you know, managers of individual stores or the people, you know, their assistants or whatever, they need to manage a team. And so they need leadership skills. And so referring them to some leadership programs. Oh my goodness. Um, time management would probably be a big one. What else? Um, a course on, you know, they're gonna like negotiating because they're probably going to be negotiating rents and things like that. You know, again, this is a very specific niche. That's what we're looking for tonight is drop your very specific niche in the comments, your niche. And I'm going to show you how to do affiliate marketing. So for Tim, what I would do with those salon owners is I would promote general things are going to help them generally in business and in life. Um, I'm willing to bet that the majority of your audience, Tim, is, um, is married, you know, and you could find that out by surveying them. And if so, a course on, you know, marriage for entrepreneurs, you know, there's some specificity there. I'm going to imagine that if they're, you know, a small business owner, uh, more than likely, you know, they struggle like most small business owners do, like as they struggle with time management. And so a course uh, for my friend, you know, uh, Craig Jarrow, you know, on time management ninja might be something. And then uh, the products that they use promoting products, you know, we just recently, promoted a, a, a thing called repurpose. And you can find that at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash repurpose. And we shared that with my audience who are similar to me. And we said, you've got to check out this tool. And sharing those tools with your audience is a great way to monetize with affiliate marketing, Tim. So um, coaching salon owners is a, is a tough one, but we, we got that one. So got another one. Uh, and again, drop your niche in the comments and I will answer it live. And another one come in via email. For the, for the record, I didn't see these before I uh, I went live. Um, okay, the gist is, okay, got it. Um, so, 
I think it's Rosalind. I'm going to go with Rosalind. Uh, teaches homeschool math. Um, so I'm assuming, okay, got it. So she, she teaches parents how to teach. So homeschool parents, how to teach their kids math, uh, math curriculum. Um, very similar. I don't know if, I don't think, I wonder if Rosalind, if you're on, I don't think you are. Cause you said you weren't going to be, but I know you're going to watch this. I'm curious if you know, Anna Willis. And uh, so shout out to Anna Willis. She teaches, uh, she's at, they, they call me blessed dot com or dot org. I'll have to look that up. Let me see there real quick. And she actually, one thing she does is she's one of our students and she is totally rocking it. She's on, I think it is.com. They call me blessed.com. Um, that's not working either. Well, I'm going to just going to look, <laughs> this is engaging, right? Um, Anna Willis, let's see. She does like some homeschool. Maybe her website's not working. No, you just need the www. I have to tell her that. And if you're on, you need to get that fixed. So we got to fix her website live. So she actually does like homeschool um, Hebrew, I think is one of her things. And she rocks at affiliate marketing. She is killing it. And I mean, just doing amazing, absolutely amazing. So in this case, Rosalind, you teach people how to teach their kids homeschool math. First thing that comes to mind, two things come to mind immediately. Uh, other courses, because here's what I know about parents who come to you. This is what you're looking for at affiliate marketing. You're looking for those, those things where it's like, it's so obvious. If people come to you for A, they're going to also want B, C, and D. And so if people, if parents are coming to you to learn how to teach their kids math, they also want to teach their kids language arts, history, geography, um, reading, writing. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on, right? Civics, government, um, great, good grief, business, leadership, teamwork. I mean, you could go on and on. Recommend other curriculums to them. There's an easy way to do some affiliate marketing. E super easy way. And you can come right out and say, I am the expert at teaching you how to do homeschool math. I'm not at this subject. So let me introduce you to my friend who is. Let me introduce you to the person who I use to teach my kids history. Let me, rec let me introduce you to the curriculum that I use with my children for civics. So uh, courses is definitely number one. Uh, number two is supplies. You know, we homeschool. We're, we're a, a homeschool family and we love the freedom that it brings. Just like this one of the reasons why we love our online business. It brings freedom. We get to work when we want to work and where we want to work and do the things that we want to do. And we're not tied to a calendar. Um, this is like the once a year where I'm tied to a calendar. Literally. We do this workshop every year, once a year, not twice a year, once a year, between Memorial Day and Father's Day. And so this time of year, my schedule's crazy. But even today, I got to work when I wanted to work. And I got to go out with my family for you know a few hours just now and got to go for an hour and a half walk in the middle of the day. And we love that. So anyway, we're a homeschool family. We use a lot of supplies. What are the supplies that you recommend? So even for math, like you need a, a protractor, I think that's what the thing's called, and a, a one of those rulers, you know, depending upon the level and you need this and you recommend this, you recommend the supplies that you use and that you recommend for, for homeschool math. And so if there's a certain, uh, you teach the curriculum, but if there's a certain, I think it's called the protractor. Somebody help me out in the comments. If that, the little pointy thing where you stick the pencil on the one side and then you spin it around in a circle, I think that's called the protractor or is that a compass? I literally can't remember. I don't remember what the difference is. You know, if there's a calculator, uh, I think all of us remember from like high school, at least, you know, post say 1970, we had a Texas at Instruments calculator. It's like, mine was like ginormous and I never even used two thirds of the buttons. I never learned how to do any of like some of the buttons on there. I, to this day, look at them and like, I don't even know what that is, right? Um, and so, <laughs> you know, recommend a specific type of calculator. We had to have, it was the, oh my goodness, what was it called? It was a TI and then a number. We had to have a specific one when I was in uh, uh, high school. But 
you know, recommend those types of things. So the supplies and the things that people need. So uh, other subjects, supplies, oh man, if I was doing homeschool math, um, gosh, man, that certainly gets you started. I might, I can think of one other thing, actually. Take a sip real quick. Um, products that help parents. You know, parenting, just in general, I mean, homeschool parenting is certainly uh, more of a challenge. And I've got, I've got all your questions there, by the way, uh, Marie, uh, Marie and Josh and Kenneth. And I apologize for not saying hi. I had the comments stuck up here for some reason. So I have not seen any of your comments. Compass, thank you, Michael. Okay, it is a compass, not a protractor. Can somebody tell me what a protractor is? Yes, I know I can Google it. But somebody in the comments, please tell me what a protractor is. Because for the life of me, I can't remember now what that is. Um, but I'm going to address uh, these questions uh, here in just a second. By the way, hi, Kenneth. It's good to see you. Um, so parenting is hard. Homeschool parenting is even harder. Like my wife is a saint. She not only helps us run the business and is, is my, you know, my business partner. And I mean, does so much. Like, I mean, she's bouncing around in 17 different directions and homeschooling our children. And uh, so promoting something that helps parents, you know, the reality is 97% of the time it's the moms, you know, no doubt about it. Um, helping them to find, you know, I can think of uh, like a, a course from Jessica Turner. Uh, she had a course about basically finding margin in, in your life. And, um, you know, the, uh, you know, court, like products that help parents relax. Um, I don't know, like a massage chair. I'm not joking. We just got one of those uh, like rapid release massagers. And I mean, it, it did stuff that like regular massage couldn't even touch because it just, like, you know, gets the muscles loose. So uh, stuff like that. I mean, dead serious um, really works. All right. So we had one. Okay. Marie, can you clarify? You said Christian. Can you clarify who your target audience is? I'll answer another question while I'm finding or why I'm waiting for that, Marie. Is it, um, so is it like Christian lay people? Meaning, you know, is it just everyday folks? Is it pastors? Is it youth ministers? Um, is it is it reaching people who aren't yet Christians, but you want them to be, you know, like try to clarify that and we'll come to that. Michael says, still finding my niche, thinking about coaching leaders of youth. Michael, I know a lot more about you today than I did yesterday. So fun fact here, guys. Uh, one of the guys in um, my back in the day in my 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 personal mastermind group, a guy named Darren Sargent. And I don't know, Michael, was it how did we get on this? Uh, I think I mentioned Darren to somebody else, and I said, "Hey, do you know Darren Sargent? Or maybe you should check him out or something." And you're like, "Yeah, I've known Darren for 30 years." And so I'm just telling you, like, the first thing I did, Michael, was text Darren and be like, do you know a guy named Michael Gurley? Like, is this guy hoodwinking me? I'm kidding. But I did text him and he's like, yeah, I've known him for 30 years. And I'm like, all right, you know. So we, we, were, we were texting about you last night, Michael. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you, I think that'd be a great coaching leaders of youth. If you're not familiar with them, Michael, check out um, – give me a second. His name is Paul. Um, let me pull up my email. Uh, Paul Evans, Paul Evans, and he's, he teaches, uh, he helps youth ministers is who he helps. And you might follow him and get some ideas. But so, so if you're coaching leaders of youth, right, coaching leaders of youth like Michael, how can affiliate marketing work? Um, again, a lot, a lot of times it's going to be some general stuff, but some, some other stuff as well. So for instance, if you're coaching them, you're not like giving them a curriculum and stuff. What Paul does is give the youth ministers a weekly curriculum. I can't vouch for this, but I'd be willing to bet since he's been an affiliate for a lot of stuff that we've done and he knows me that he would have an affiliate program. And if he doesn't, I'll bet you he'd start one. And so I would reach out to Paul and say, Hey, I would love if I'm, you know, you're coaching youth leaders. Um, promoting his, you know, his weekly, um, message, you know, message membership site. And guys, I apologize. I'm having some issues with my contacts tonight. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, I would reach out to, uh, somebody like that. And then again, it's a lot of general stuff, 
you know, youth leaders, um, they need help with budgets and finance, promoting products in that niche. They need um, help with productivity, I'm sure, and delegating and leadership. Those are all things where you could find some products. Uh, yeah, Josh says, I like repurpose. It's really cool and cheap. Yeah, it is flipping awesome. We love that. All right, Kit, let me go down and see if Marie. Okay, great. I've got I've got your stuff, Marie. I'm going to come back to that. Just want to go in order here. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you guys, I'll end up all over the place. Um, diet, natural healing alternatives, et cetera, Kenneth. So let's assume for purposes of this question. So he said diet, natural healing alternatives, et cetera. Kenneth, you need to connect with, um, oh man, there's somebody in the workshop that I can't remember for the life of me. And if you'll bear with me, I'm going to see if I can find, actually, Kenneth, if you'll just message me, um, I'll, I'll find the person and introduce you to, him, uh, in the workshop because there's another person that's really into that there as well. Um, so if you're creating, let's just say that you're teaching it, you're teaching the information. So maybe you can clarify for me, Kenneth, and say, you know, I'm teaching it or, uh, or <laughs> thank you, John, um, or I'm, I'm either teaching it or I'm creating the product. So John says a protractor is a semicircular tool that measures and defines angles. Thank you, John. I do appreciate that because for the life of me, I, I now, yes, I know what it looks like now. Thank you. All right. I'm telling it's been a long time since I've been in school. Uh, so if I were teaching diet and natural healing, I mean, the first thing I, I can think of is, again, the stuff that goes along with it, the easy stuff. So the fitness side, the exercise side, the, uh, you know, the exercise regimen, the exercise program side, uh, whatever those might be. You know, you got, got strength training, cardiovascular, you know, yoga, um, tai chi. I mean, you know, name a, name a health and fitness thing that, that really fits into it. Supplements, you know, supplements definitely fits in. I have a friend of mine that does, uh, his entire niche is like uh, vegan stuff. He, he makes a lot of money off of two things, vegan protein supplements and uh, iron, iron supplements. There's a particular type of iron supplement that he promotes that's, you know, I don't know anything about iron supplements, even though our kids take it, but apparently it's like the cleanest kind or something. Uh, so just an example, supplements, um, like food services, you know, if there's some healthy, I know the one that was really big, I can't remember that's kind of, I know their stock price dropped like 90%. So I don't know how they're, if they're even still in business, but, um, or the, you know, like Organifi or organic vegetable and fruits and vegetables deliveries. Um, goodness, other courses, you know, maybe you, maybe you cover natural healing, but you don't cover weight loss. So a product about weight loss, you, you take what you do, generally speaking, and guys, we're going to give out a prize here in just a second. I forgot about that. Um, I'm going to go to the general thing, but just a quick reminder, everybody, if you're not in the workshop yet, go to no product, no problem dot com forward slash workshop. No product, no problem dot com forward slash workshop. And hey, Heather. Oh, we were just talking about homeschooling, Heather. So I've got, I'll, I'll share some more about that in a moment. Um, that's awesome. So uh, no product, no problem dot com forward slash workshop. Make sure you get in the workshop, get in the Facebook group once you sign up because we got some awesome stuff coming up there this week. So here's what you want to do when you think of, of general, um, I drew this yesterday on the, on a Facebook live or Saturday, sorry. Um, it's this, it's the donut. I never thought about it, but it's the donut. And this is your niche and your niche should be small like that. Your niche should, where's my finger? Okay, there we go. Uh, <laughs> your niche should be small, you should be really focused. You should be a little painful that you have to niche down. Here's everything that you're going to promote in terms of affiliate offers. And so, you know, if you're in the natural healing space, there's, you know, weight loss supplements, weight, uh, strength training, cardiovascular, um, you know, there's bone health and, and all of these things that you could promote, introduce them to other experts and products that you're not, you're not the expert on that specific subject. And sometimes it's, you're, you know, you're promoting things that are right here. They're like, and sometimes maybe they're even in your niche a little bit. You're just, 
you know, you're introducing them to other concepts, other price points. So for instance, if you have a thousand dollar course that's yours, that's right here, but your friend has a course that's not quite as in depth, maybe it's even delivered in a different mode. So your course is video, it's interactive. Their course is just 25 audio downloads. Nothing wrong with that. And they charge a fraction of what you charge. You can still promote them if they don't buy your product. Because why not? You may have an audience that just wants to do that. And so think of those products out there, but occasionally even think of those products in there as well, Kenneth. So hopefully that, uh, answer, if Kenneth, if there's anything I was missing there, feel free to, uh, you know, to come on or feel free to pop in the comments and let me know. Family educational vacations or sites. I'm thinking, so Marie said something about, like, so Christian family. Oh, here we go. Okay. Heather's a homeschool mom too. So you know what it's like, Heather. You know what? I, I, I'll just tell you guys. Um, every now and again, we might have a late night due to some sort of obligation. Some of those just work. And my wife is really tired in the morning. And I get up and, you know, I watch the kids for a few hours. And... I will go in and ha help our daughter with like one project, one subject for like an hour. And our son with like a couple of letters, cause he's three. And I will like wear a shirt that says I homeschooled today. Like I make a big freaking deal. I'm like, oh, I homeschooled, you know, for a whole hour today. Right. My wife does it all day, every day, you know, at least five days a week. Right. So Heather, I totally, uh, man, what you do is amazing. So Marie says, Christian women, Christian women, lay people. So again, just to be clear, not, um, not the clergy, you know, not the pastors and, you know, not ministers, youth ministry, stuff like that. So her niche is Christian women, lay people. Um, so I'm going to, you know, predominantly moms more than likely, not always, but predominantly, um, it would help to narrow that down. So we'll kind of cover that, you know, is it, predominantly Christian singles, uh, or predominantly Christian married, predominantly Christian with children, predominantly Christian that are empty nesters. Those are going to be very different. But let's just cover all of those kind of. Um, from a spe you know, specific standpoint, uh, parenting, courses on parenting, Ziegler family, for example, um, you know, comes to mind. Uh, other parenting courses, the Jessica Turner thing I mentioned earlier for busy moms. I think hers was called the, uh, oh man, what was her, her course called? It's something about margin. Uh, and I just cannot remember it. Um, she's going to hate me for that, but you know, something, yeah, about finding margin, um, courses on, you know, general, like kind of, I hate to say this, but general life, you know, like health and fitness, you know, um, Christian moms struggle like all moms to find the time to make for themselves. And so 20 minute workouts are going to be a big thing. You know, that's going to be something. Um, devotionals, you know, devotionals are going to be a great thing. If you find that you have a lot of homeschooling parents, homeschooling resources are going to be great. I mentioned Anna Willis earlier. If it's, um, if it's more on the single side, I think you take out the parenting stuff and it's probably more of like the devotionals and things like that. Um, finances. You know, finding courses that uh, you can promote as an affiliate that help them with their finances. Because uh, I know, you know, one of the statistics, it's the number one cause of divorce in non-Christian families and Christian families alike, and that's uh, finances. Money fights, money, you know, money, uh, money problems. I mean, that's, it's the number one cause of divorce. And so if you're serving that audience, I would definitely recommend some stuff on um, finances. Courses that help you talk to your kids about sex. That's going to be a big one. Parenting teens, parenting little ones, parenting tweens, parenting adult children, uh, grandparenting, you know, courses on all that stuff. Courses that help, uh, that help you with uh, technology, you know, managing technology in your kit with your kids would be a good uh, course to, you know, to promote. And then in terms of products, you know, products that make their lives easier. Products, um, you know, could be, it could be, like purely Christian related, like I said, devotionals, books, um, things like that. Uh oh. I lost connection. 
hopefully, if you guys can hear me or see me, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, it is telling me that I lost connection. Can you guys let me know? Oh, no, I hope I didn't. Well, yep, I think I have lost connection entirely. Ah! Okay, so you guys do see me. I I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> it says, it's just like trying to react. Um... So, okay, good, good. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's so weird that Facebook would tell me that. Where were we? We were on Marie's. I think we kind of covered that. <laughs> um, I don't want to belabor that, but I mean, yeah, there's so many things. So, Marie, hopefully that, that answers your question. I apologize for the interruption there. You know what? We're going to go with – good, good. I'm so glad you guys can uh, see me. Hey, Carl! Carl! Um, yeah, that's so weird. Okay, uh, Carl is – I mean, goodness – Gracious, Carl has been in our tribe for a long time. And I mean that in an awesome way. Carl is just, I mean, he has got the biggest heart, uh, gives so much to the No Product, No Problem community. And Carl, you're a rock star. Um, so thank you for being on. So prizes. So, so far, nobody stumped me. But, but I have a book that I'm going to attempt to grab without... I can't grab it. I don't think I can grab it without, I've got so many cords set up over here. I'm afraid if I try to grab this, I'm going to knock something over and like yank it and pull it. So I have a book. It is one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, it's called how to write copy that sells. It is the seminal book about copywriting. And, um, I'm going to give it away now to, um, to, I'm, I'm just going through the comments. I'm looking at these comments and um, you know what? Kenneth, Kenneth, I am going to send you how to write copy that sells by my friend, Ray Edwards. Ray is a dear friend of mine. He's the world's best copywriting teacher, like hands down, right? I mean, he's an amazing copywriting teacher and you have to learn how to write copy to sell anything. So, um, Yes. How to write copy that sells. Kenneth, what you do, reach out to us, uh, or just reach out to me, Matt at mattmcwilliams.com, and my team will take care of you. Uh, just, you know, send your address and all the fun stuff. You don't need to send like a blood sample or anything. That'd be weird. Uh, so I'm going to send that to you. All right. So let's get back to what we're talking about today, which is or tonight. And he, Gwyn, Gwyn Morasco, our resident rocket scientist. And I mean that seriously. For those of you who don't know, Gwen is actually a rocket scientist. She literally, like, look her up because her big claim to fame so far, she's in for, like, some serious bigger claims to fame. Um, but she, like, she, like, you can find this report that she wrote where, like, she invented the thing that allows astronauts to drink their own pee. Like, it's crazy, right? So Gwen's a rock star. Gwen is on. Gwen, if you're going to be on for a little bit, can you do me a favor and just periodically tell me in the comments that you can that you can hear and see me? Because uh, I'm still getting this weird error message from Facebook. So, uh, and if you do lose me, then I want to know. Um, anyway, all right. So let's get back to Marie here. Marie said, "Okay, oh yeah, for Rosalind, that would be a great resource for Rosalind." Uh, I'm going to say she's going to watch this. I know. Cause she said she's going to watch it first thing tomorrow morning. Um, part teaching. Yep. Got it. So Heather, Heather's niche is homeschool, which we've covered country living and gardening. Gwen, can you think of anybody that we know that Heather should know in the country living niche? Hmm. We actually have, uh, one of our start mastermind members, Monica, uh, Mikey, is what we call her. Uh, she's in the country living niche. So when I think of country living and gardening, uh, gardening is one of those niches I actually use a lot as an example. You'll hear me use it a lot because I know nothing about it. <laughs> so I use it purposely to be like, listen, I know nothing about this niche and I can still come up with some ways. So obviously the supplies in gardening, 
the tra you know, the type of trowel you use, the type of glove you use, if you have small hands, big hands, middle sized hands, uh, you know, the type of plant food you use, what plant food works best for tulips, and uh, I've named all the flowers I can name roses, daisies. Um, Yep, I'm done. Gerbera. Gerbera daisies. It's the only one that's my wife's favorite. Yellow Gerbera daisies. Um, so I, I don't know what other types of flowers there are. But what type of plant, plant food works best in each of those? Um, what type of hose? You know, just supplies that you've discovered over the years that work best for you. Even the things like, what type of headphones work best when you garden? It's, that, sounds a little bit, that sounds crazy, right? Because I think if you're running, you have one type of headphone because when you go running, you're not generally like doing a lot of bending and, you know, getting down and things like that. But when you're doing gardening, you're bending over a lot. You don't want the headphones to fall off. So what kind of headphones work best when you're gardening? Oh my goodness, guys, I found these headphones. I just started using them. They are amazing. They actually stay on your, you know, there's, there's affiliate marketing for you. Um, country, so let me go, keep going in gardening real quick. Um, obviously courses on gardening, you know, things like that, but all the supplies, all the tools, all that country living. Um, I think there's some stuff I it could, could be wrong on this. I'm not saying everyone in the country living niche is into this, but you know, courses on like how to get off the grid, um, solar energy, um, trying to think of products like cell phone boosters dead serious. I was in the mountains of Tennessee recently and you had to go to this, it was at a very exclusive resort. You had to go to this one place to be able to like to talk on your phone. And actually there were two different places. One was like Verizon and T-Mobile and the other one like, you know, like 200 feet down was for like AT&T and a couple of others. <laughs> Apparently they like interfere with each other. They had a cell booster, cell boosters, Wi-Fi boosters, uh, Wi-Fi routers, you know, things like that could be great things to promote as an affiliate. So country living, gardening, I already talked about homeschool. And again, guys, if you aren't in the workshop yet, make sure you jump in at noproductnoproblem.com forward slash workshop. Make sure you jump in there at noproductnoproblem.com forward slash workshop. When you're in, make sure you click on the link to get in the Facebook group and uh adirondack chairs just <laughs> hey july uh good to see you yeah seeds roots growing and mikey is at rural writer dot roar why is this so hard for me i have I, rural it's like walrus i couldn't say walrus until i was like 17 years old um i don't know what that is this is weird but yeah all right so that was heather gwen personal development productivity high performance Oh my goodness. Yeah. And holistic health and wellness. We just talked about the holistic health and wellness stuff. Um, Gwen, that was Kenneth that asked about that. And by the way, Kenneth and Gwen, you, you two should connect as you're both kind of uh, in that similar niche, you know, personal development. Again, I go back to the donut. So Gwen, and I, and I know Gwen very well, guys. Uh, she's in our mastermind. And uh, so I know a lot more about her, but I'm going to speak in generalities as though I don't you know, know everything about her business. There's your personal development, productivity, high performance donut hole. And those are the specific things that you focus on in your donut hole. And then there's this whole donut out here. So it's, again, time management, um, leadership, productivity, hiring, firing, um, you know, um, health, fitness, you know, you name it. Strength training to build better bones, aging. Um, hair loss, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, um, all those things, you know, like all of those things would be really good for that niche, uh, Gwen marketing sales, uh, good grief, the tools that you use to build your business, you know, the coach's coach, you're the coach's coach. So what tools do you need to build your business? You know, think about those, um, Greg, Greg. Okay. Greg is the one. The motivational speaker helping youth understand that being a misfit is okay. And Greg was the one last night I introduced, I said, you need to check out Darren Sargent and you should. And then I come to find out Michael Gurley, who I know they've, they've known, like they've been friends for 30 years. It's crazy. 
I mean, really weird small world stuff. And um, so, Michael, thank you, because Darren and I have kind of lost a little bit of connection recently. And it was good to, you know, be up late last night texting with him and, and reconnect, Michael. So in that niche, motivational speaker helping youth understand that being a misfit is okay. So youth is a very tough niche. I'm going to tell you right now, this is as close as anybody might come to stumping me. We'll see. Youth is a very tough niche because here's the problem with 15 to 18 year olds. I think we all know. I don't have any money. <laughs> and what little money they have, they buy, they spend on stupid stuff. <laughs> I know that's a generalization. And it's not true of all of them. But when I was that age, I didn't have any money. I had a part-time job and I played golf, you know, and, and I was good at golf and went on to play in college and professionally. But uh, I didn't have any money to spend on anything. You know, I, I really didn't. Like, if I wanted a book, my dad bought it for me. That was the only way I was getting a book because I had, like, $32. I'm like, I'm not spending 15 bucks on a book. You know, so that's the downside. Now, there are some things that come to mind. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the first one is, again, again, lower lower dollar, you know, items, but books. Books are, are going to be one thing that you can recommend, and the books that you believe are going to help them. Uh, books, um, you know, like lower, like lower priced mini, mini courses, you know, mini courses on goal setting, mini courses on productivity, um, courses that are going to help them through high school, through, uh, whatever, whatever stage they're in, in life, um, courses and, you know, books on things like dating, you know, and courtship, um, uh, public speaking, you know, learning to do uh, good grief. Like I would highly recommend recommending how to win friends and influence people to pretty much every teenager. I am so thankful that I read that book when I, when I did, I was, uh, I might've been 18. I might've been 18. Uh, man's search for meaning. I read that when I was 18 and I learned so much stuff. Uh, what was the book, whatever the mind and Napoleon Hill, uh, think and grow rich. I remember thinking grow rich in college. I had no interest per se in being rich, but there was a quote in that book that became the mantra of our of our golf team. And it was whatever the mind of man can conceive and can conceive and believe he can achieve. And I might have butchered that a little bit. And when I heard that that quote was in there, I was like, I'm gonna read that book. I mean, I don't know how much I got out of it at that age. But it's it, some of the lessons clearly stuck with me, you know. And so recommending books like that, some of the classics and some of the new stuff um, could be a really good way with, with uh, when you're talking about teens and youth, because again, um, the big issue is reaching the teens and being clear on if you're going to reach the teens, uh, they don't have money, you know, generally speaking. And so a lot of times you're actually working more with, um, you know, the parents. And so there's some stuff there as well. So hopefully that helped you, Greg. Um, let's see. I am a motive. Okay. Motivational speakers trying to get into schools in Australia. Greg says, awesome. Um, let's see. All I can, th oh yeah, I read that already. <laughs> All right. I'm Carl says I'm setting up myself as a resources directory for people getting started with this crazy online world. Yeah. I mean, you know, the tools there, if you're in the online business world, um, gosh, come tomorrow guys. I've got a Facebook live tomorrow. We're going to do a walkthrough of my resources page. So my actual resources page. And I've literally never shared this publicly before. I have shared it um, privately with our, like our mastermind and our students, but I've never shared it publicly. We're going to do a walkthrough of my resources page. And then Wednesday night, we're going to walk through how to do review posts. So, uh, so if you're not in, make sure you get in the workshop, no product, no problem.com forward slash workshop. I'll drop that link again and you can make sure you get in on that. Get in the Facebook group. Uh, some awesome conversations going on there. I know some really cool people have connected. Um, Josh, mentoring is great for that age. Yeah, you know, one thing I did, good, good point, Josh, because I didn't mention this. Uh, Greg, um, if you're targeting, you know, the actual youth, then um, and you have to do both because I saw you mention targeting schools. You have to do both. If you don't become a, if you don't become 
like the go-to guy for the youth, the schools are never going to want you to come. You know, you actually have to speak to the youth. And so one thing you could recommend is, uh, and, and I don't know the legality of this in Australia, so please keep in mind that there might, like this might not work in specific countries. But recommending specific, you know, like organizations that can do counseling if they need counseling. Because you're going to motivate them and make them think it's okay to be a misfit, but they were sexually abused and they were six. And uh, I don't know, Greg, I mean, I don't know you personally, but odds are that's not something that you deal with. Like that you're the guy, like the guy who's going to help them unpack that for eight weeks uh, or longer, you know, eight months or eight years. And so you could recommend, you know, something like that and get a, you know, a, a commission on that. And, you know, again, I don't know the legality of that in different states or different countries for that matter. Uh, most states in the United States, stuff like that's perfectly legal. And I think it's a good thing. So, but targeting the schools, if you're actually talking about the schools, uh, what are some things you could recommend to them, you know, to schools? Clearly, if you have a list of of people, you know, like principals or, you know, program directors at schools, um, recommending things that they need. You know, and again, it's the same thing that a lot of people need. Um, you know, leadership and how to, uh, you know, time management and things like that. So Josh dropped a link to Think and Grow Rich, because that's right, that's in the public domain now. Um it's like, a, I think a hundred years is the the timeline on books. Might be only like 75 years. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's right. It's in the public domain. That said, go to Amazon and grab yourself a paperback copy. They're super cheap. Um, I'm not even going to give you my affiliate link. Like that's how cheap they are. Um, but grab yourself a paperback copy. It's worth, it's worth it. Cause I don't know about you, but I would spend just as much printing it out and I'm not going to read it online. Like me personally, if you're anything like me, you like physical books. Um, so guys, if anybody else has one, drop it in the comments real quick and we'll wrap up. How does affiliate marketing work in the blank niche? So far, nobody has stumped me. So that $50 Amazon gift card is still out there and we'll go until uh, 10 o'clock or maybe wrap up a little sooner if we don't have any questions. But so I don't know. I don't know. Um, if anybody's gonna win that, but Josh, Josh has been super helpful tonight as well. And I want to acknowledge Josh. And so Josh, how to write copy that sells by Ray Edwards, the best book on copywriting out there, guys, like you have to know this stuff. You have to know, uh, how to write copy that actually sells. And when you get into affiliate marketing, you want to know how to write copy that sells. And we cover a lot of that in our course. Um, we cover a lot. We have an entire you know, section on copywriting, but we also have interviews with Ray Edwards inside the course where you learn this, but I'm going to send you this book, Josh. If you'll do me one favor, reach out to me, Matt at mattmcwilliams.com. Include your address, include your address. Just put how to write copy that sells in the subject line and I'll have my team. I'll notify them after this, that uh, they're to send you a book. So just give them, uh, give them a little bit of time since we're in the middle of the workshop. Things are a little crazy for them. And I'm just adding more stuff to their plate. <laughs> I'm like giving away books tonight. So uh, if you guys have any niches, your niche, somebody else's niche, coaching midlife. Hey, Jim, uh, Jim Schubert, coaching midlife men. Um, oh, man, I wish I could understand what that would be like, Jim. Uh, gosh, midlife men. Um, I'm thinking about getting a motorcycle. I really am growing a beard, getting me a ring, wearing leather all the time. Um, <laughs> so to be specific, he says, coaching midlife Christian men to discover and heed their calling. All right. So I know a lot of midlife Christian men. Uh, they're all in my men's group at church. And um, we all are starting to have this weird thing. It's like right here where we just wake up one day and it's like, where did my hair go? Um, but yeah, I mean, so midlife, typically you have children, they're typically your older children. Our children are only three and eight. We had children a little bit late. Um, you know, I'm turning 40 at the end of the month. So I'm right there statistically in the middle of my life. Like literally according to the charts, I'm like directly in the middle. So I think about that. Um, imagine midlife Christian men to, you know, I go back to a lot of things, that, you know, that are. You know, here's, here's this thing. Here's you. 
This is what you teach. And I don't know what it is specifically. Okay. It might be like you said on, you know, discover and heed their calling. And that's your specific thing. But what about goal setting? And like we talked about earlier, leadership, productivity, um, health and fitness, you know, it is really hard. Uh, I'm discovering this at my age. Like, you know, I mean, not so long ago, I weighed like a lot less, like almost 90 pounds less. And I've discovered it is a lot harder to lose weight at the age of 39 than it is at the age of 29. Like I remember when I was like 29, I was like, oh, whatever, I'll just lose it. And I did. I was like, I lost like 75 pounds in like four months. It wasn't really that hard, to be honest with you. I I can't do that now. You know, it is hard. <laughs> it is really hard. And so health and fitness would be a big one. Parenting, you know, especially parenting, um, you know, certain age kids. And again, midlife, you know, can be defined in a few different ways. Um, so it depends on what you, you know, where the kids are in that age realm. Definitely, uh, you know, parenting, uh, career, you know, things like, uh, how to, you know, how to write a resume. My friend Scott Barlow teaches an entire course on that, how to find your, you know, your career, but specifically like the resume thing. Um, so again, you want to look for first start here, the things that you're not going to cover very specifically, but other people do. Then you actually work inward. You work inward and outward actually. So you start right here, really close to your niche, but in the, you know, in the donut. Then you go to the things that are a little bit more out there, like health and fitness, like leadership, you know, things like that. Then you come back into the donut because maybe, I don't know, I don't know for sure, Jim, but maybe you say coaching. Maybe this is literal coaching where you charge, say, $200 an hour, $500 an hour, $1,000 an hour. You know, we, for our one-on-one -on -one coaching, is $2,500 an hour. That's why we don't do very much of it, you know, because they have a very specific clientele for that. Most people can't afford that, but they can afford to buy a thousand dollar course from us or from someone else. So if your core offer is that coaching and you don't offer any other products, offering lower priced alternatives to get similar results, not as good, not as quick, but similar, you know, results. They might be like direct competition for you, but is, if you have a $5,000, you know, a three month, $5,000 coaching package, is that $297 course really competition for you? If you promote that to somebody who's been on your list for a year, but hasn't signed up for your coaching, not really. So those are some different ideas for you, Jim. All right. Gwen asks for a different one. Teaching art classes and putting yourself first when a stay at home mom. That is a very specific thing. Um, <laughs> oh, I, just, I see. What did, where was that in reference to? I thought that was like, at first I thought it was a niche. Or she's teaching art classes. Is that what you're saying, Gwen? Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Well, let's just cover that one since I'm not sure what the heck you're saying, Gwen. Um, art instructors. You teach art. Uh, who's uh, Nick Wilton? Nick Wilton uh, is a guy that does that. He teaches uh, people how to make art and teaches art instructors as well, I believe. Supplies, brushes, paints. Um, I know Dick Blick, which, yeah, cue the giggles. Um, it's an art supplies thing. They have an affiliate program. Um, we used them. So I, I used to run the affiliate program for a company called Legacy Learning Systems. Our primary course, our flagship product was uh, Learn and Master Guitar, but we also had Learn and Master Painting. And we, uh, we did a lot, we sold a lot of oil paints and brushes and canvases through Dick Blick, you know, as an affiliate program. So there's a great, a great way to do, uh, you know, if you're in that niche, it would be the supplies. Um, if you are teaching art, you know, teaching people how to paint and stuff like that or do different art, um, man, it's hard to get past supplies because it's so, so, there's so much. And quite frankly, you, you know, a lot of stuff is really high priced and it's renewal. You know, people buy a red tube of paint. Odds are they're going to buy another red tube of paint. 
and another red tube of paint and another red tube of paint. And if they keep coming back to you, you might only make two bucks a tube or a dollar a tube, but they're going to buy a, a, a phthalo blue and a midnight blue and, um, uh, you know, uh, crimson and burnt orange and, you know, uh, like, you know, midnight black and, you know, white, the, whatever that, the specific white one is that, that Bob Ross always uses. And they're, you know, they're going to buy a, you know, a evergreen green and a, you know, a bright green and a sky blue. And I mean, like all these colors, right? Yellow, they're going to buy all of these different colors <laughs> and they're going to buy them repeatedly. And so you only make a dollar a tube times 10 tubes times once every two months off the top of my head is 60 bucks a year. Just recommending paint. And then you add the brushes and the canvases. You add the paint thinner. You add the cleaner. You add the towel, the specific towel, the knife that they need to use to do the little like, you know, thing. Um, then there's more brushes. You know, the bigger brushes, the little brushes, the fan brushes, the, you know, the detail brushes. And then they got to buy more of those and then more of those and then more of those. And then there's the tape. I mean, like, so just promoting supplies. Prussian blue. Thank you, Gwen. Gwen has been watching some Bob Ross too. Um, I should have worn my Bob Ross t-shirt tonight if I know we we're going to talk about Bob Ross. Happy little trees. That's right. Uh, I should end with happy painting and God bless tonight so i should end this um maybe i will if i remember anyway yeah i mean so many supplies for art stuff and so that's the thing just think about those like what are the supplies that they need to do the thing that i'm teaching them to do you know what are the uh what are those supplies and then from there if you're teaching you know like art instructors again art instructors are small business owners should go back to all the general business stuff um you know and then marketing you know how to get clients how to advertise, things like that would really work well for art instructors. Um, so anyone else, last call, how does affiliate marketing work in the blank niche? Fill in that blank. In the meantime, if you have not yet, I'm going to drop the link one more time. Make sure to sign up for the No Product, No Problem workshop. It's our once a year workshop, guys. We do this. When I say it's our once a year workshop, I mean it's our once a year workshop. We do not do this workshop two or three times a year. We do it once a year between Memorial Day and Father's Day every year. Uh, join the workshop. You'll get an invite there on the page once you once you sign up to join the group, the Facebook group for the workshop. You want to join that. We have so much good stuff in there. And um, also, quick reminder as we finish up, I'm going live the next two nights to share something I have never shared publicly before. I have never shared this publicly before, only with our private students, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of our resources page and a walkthrough of how to do a review post the next few nights. Uh, today, we released our free report, our brand new free report, How to Win in Affiliate Marketing with Little or No Following. And we had a, a video that came along with that. And both of those together, we showed you how to do these two things but I'm going to walk you through hours and give you step by step, like why we do this specific thing, how this works here, what we split tested here that produced this result, take you through every little detail of those pages. So you guys can, can see those. So you want to make sure you come to the next two Facebook lives. So if you haven't yet like the page here, the Matt McWilliams consulting page, like the page so you get a notification when we go live in the next two nights. Uh, you'll get one if you sign up for the workshop as well. And uh, sign up for our messenger updates. I have no idea how you do that. I should know the link, but I don't normally do these with my sidekick, Mark, but he's spending some time with his family. Uh, so when you sign up for the workshop, there'll be a link there to get messenger updates. Just click on that and we'll, we'll tell you about it as well. So you don't want to miss these. So last call. Um, if anybody has a, how does affiliate marketing work in the blank niche? You want to fill in that blank with your niche. I will answer that question as we wrap up. In the meantime, like I said, make sure you join the workshop. And uh, congratulations to, um, crap, <laughs> I forget it was Josh and, uh, oh man, Kenneth. Kenneth, who won, won the book tonight. Nobody stumped me. So I'm going to do this. We're going to do another one of these probably Thursday. 
um, maybe Friday, maybe a couple of them. We're going to up the ante. We're going to up the ante and see if anybody can stump me with a niche that I can't think of how affiliate marketing could work in less than one minute. Like, I mean, that's not, it's not the whole, let me get back to you. Let me think about that for a couple, you know, a couple of hours. That's too easy. Like I got to be able to come up with an answer in 60 seconds or less. So what we're going to do is we're going to up the ante tonight. It was a $50 Amazon gift card. Um, we're going to up that to $200 for the next Facebook live where we play this little game here. So up it to 200. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So come be looking for those Facebook lives. Make sure you get the messenger updates, like the page, get in the workshop um, so that you don't miss the next Facebook lives and see if you can win that $200 Amazon gift card. With that, guys, Kenneth, Gwyn, Jim, awesome questions. Josh, awesome question. Marie, I remember. Greg, Michael, July, uh, lots of Gwyn, lots of Gwyn. Carl, it was so good to see you, bud. I'm glad you're on tonight, man. Uh, I meant what I said. You, you're just, you're a rock star, dude. Uh, Heather, Marie, uh, again, thank you so much for being on tonight. With that, I am going to wrap up. Bid you adieu. Have an awesome night or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. I'm going to go rest up for tomorrow. And, oh, I forgot one last thing. Go to noproductnoproblem.com forward slash masterclass. Make sure to register for our masterclass. We've got one starting at 3 o'clock tomorrow and got a bunch of times on there. So if the times you see when you load the page don't work for you, there's a little blue button that says, like, these times don't work for you. Click that, and there'll be a bunch more times that drop down. So noproductnoproblem.com forward slash masterclass. I will drop that link here in the chat. You guys can click on that. And like Gwen says, with that, happy painting and God bless. It's my Bob Ross sign off for the night. See you guys. Take care.